Hello everybody, this is James from Philippine Life Adventure and I'm gonna take my daily walk. It's a two mile walk. We're gonna walk around this track here at the local park. And we got some beautiful scenery here. Nice pathway. They got a place you can cook out over there at the barbecue grill. A place you can sit there at the tables and eat. And then they got some basketball court here. <clears throat> some benches you can sit out underneath the tree. It's a small little town in Arkansas. We have less than 750 people population. It's a nice little quiet town. Now this is the scenery I see when I walk around the park. You see birds. You see squirrels. I have seen a few snakes out here sometimes. I have seen some turtles that come up out of the creek and they come up here. But it's a nice little walk. They just replaced a privacy fence right here. Separating their backyard from the city park. Sorry for the bouncing of my camera while I walk. But it's nice and peaceful. Give you a peace of mind walking out here early in the morning. While well, you still got shade. A little cool breeze. People here, they like to grow gardens in their backyard. Behind that little house there off to the side, they got a little garden growing. That white plastic pipe you see, they're running water out to a field. And I'll show you here just in a minute. Let's overlook the playground. It's a nice place for family to come out here and have recreation. Me and my family come out here a few weeks ago around Easter and we played kickball right out here. They had a blast. But we're gonna come up here on this field. And I see, as I get closer to it, you're gonna see that uh, it's got corn. The city every year plants this field. In the springtime, they plant corn. And then the community can go and pick this corn for free. All you want. They started doing this a couple years ago. And a lot of people, even the birds out here trying to find them something to eat too. But as you can see, this corn has really come along nice. It's kind of a dwarf corn. It don't get very tall. But you can see the corn's producing really nice now. And I would say probably within a couple of weeks, it'd be ready to pick. And that is some sweet corn. This corn is a mixture. I had one of the employees just stop by and asked me was I video on this corn. I told him, yeah. And we had a nice little talk about it. And uh, it's coming along nice. And corn stalks, unless you don't know it, usually just grows two corns to a stalk. Now you see this in here. You got one. I'm gonna say I got two. And that one's got two. I got two. Now sometimes they might have just one, but in general, the corn just has two. It's not unusual sometimes for a corn to have three ears of corn on it, but that don't happen too often. It's like finding a four leaf clover. It's really hard to find. But the corn has really come along good. Like I said, it might be small, 
but you see, it's putting out. And they watered it real good yesterday. So here's how it looks across from where I walk at on the other side. Like I say, it's a nice, quiet, little peaceful town. Last year, all these trees, branches, was dangling over the track. You couldn't even walk without walking into them. So I talked to the city and I asked them could I come trim it. And you see, last year I came and I trimmed back the branches. And I piled them up in the city. They come hauled it away. But now everybody can enjoy walking out here without having to duck these branches, hitting them in the head. They got a nice little playground here for the kids to play with too when you come down here. A little kitty park. When my grandkids come down, sometimes we'll come down here. And uh, they enjoy playing out here. All kind of little kitty things out there for all different ages. They got that tall house over there with the slides on it. You climb up at different angles of a swirly slide. I got these swings right here. They got two sets of swings. The seesaw they took up a few years ago. I don't know why they took the seesaw up, but the board for the seesaw is not there. But here's the end of that corn patch. Like I said, it's a nice size patch and everybody can come out and pick it for free. Probably in a couple more weeks. Then in the fall time, they'll plant turnip greens. And you can come out here and pick turnip greens. I'm coming around the last turn here. And you'll see a building right there with a couple vehicles and a flag. That's our post office. Not very big, but when you have a population of less than 750 people, it don't have to be very big. Some people get their mail delivered to the house. They have a mailbox in front of the house, which I do. And if you don't have a mailbox, then you can rent their post office boxes for I think like uh, $30 a year. Then you just come up here and you have a key and you open your box up and get your mail right out of that box. But here we are closer to the kitty rides here now. But kids don't play outside like they used to. When I was a kid, we had to play outside all the time. Either you played out or you had to stay in the house. So I'd rather go outside and play. Uh, there's my car on the parking lot. As you can see, I'm the only one here. As you can see too, the traffic ain't very heavy here in this little town in Arkansas. They have a drinking fountain for you here too. It's got lights at night time and the lights click off at 10 o'clock. So I thought you might enjoy this here. And I guess I'm gonna sign off now. And I'll... Sorry if you see my hand a little bit, but uh, this is how it is here in this little town. And I hope you like this video, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.